Hi there, I'm Mr. Nunez and today's video lesson will be on finding the least common multiple or LCM using prime factorization. Let's get started. So what are multiples and how do we find them? Well, a multiple of a number is the product of that number and any other whole number. So if I were to ask you what are some multiples of 2, all you would really need to do is multiply 2 times any other whole number to get multiples. So 2 times 3 would give us 6 and 6 is a multiple of 2. 2 times 4 would give us 8 and 8 is a multiple of 2. 2 times 5 would give us 10 and that's a multiple of 2. I can jump around. I can do 2 times 10. That'll give us 20 and 20 is also a multiple of 2. Okay, so here are the first 10 multiples of 5 and 10. And what we're going to do now is find what, what we call common multiples. And these are multiples that appear in both lists for 5 and for 10. So because I have them written now, it's easy to spot them. I can see that 10 appears in both lists, 20 appears in both lists, 30, 40, and 50. So my common multiples of 5 and 10, according to this list, are 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. And we can also now find what is called the least common multiple, or the smallest of, of all of these multiples. So um, I can go ahead and just circle 10 because that's the smallest number or multiple that both 5 and 10 have in common. So I can say that that is our LCM. Our least common multiple is 10. Okay, so there are, there's another way of finding the LCM. Um, or least common multiple of two or more numbers. We can use prime factorization. Now, remember, we just went over one method, and that's listing out the multiples until and stopping on when you find one that they have in common. You can get your LCM that way. And we can see here from for 8 and 10, the LCM is 40. But we can also find the LCM using prime factorization. And here are some steps that you can take in order to do that. So first, we prime factorize. Let's prime factorize 10 and 8. Okay, so let's break it down until we can't break it down anymore. So we can get 10 by doing 2 times 5. 5 is a prime number and so is 2. All right, let's break down 8 now. We can get 8 by multiplying 2 times 4. 2 is prime. We can keep breaking 4 down to 2 times 2. Those are prime and we're done. So now we just list the prime factorizations in order from least to greatest for each one. So we have 2 times 5 to get 10. And for 8, we have 2 times 2 times 2. Okay, step 2, we blend the prime. So we're going to blend these two statements into one statement. Here's what I mean by that. Let me switch colors. Okay, so I need to have the prime factorization of both of these in my blend statement. So I'm going to just pick the biggest uh, prime factorization that I have because I'm going to have to have it anyways. So I'll do 2 times 2 times 2. And now I need to add this part to that statement. Okay, so do I have a 2 already in my blend statement? Yes, I do. So I don't need to bring this over. Do I have a times 5 in my blend statement? No, I don't. So I need to bring that over. So I add the 2 the times 5, I mean. And now we just solve the blend to get our LCM. So 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 5 is 40. And there you have it. That's your LCM using prime factorization. Let's take a look at another example. Here we need to find the LCM of 4, 6, and 9. Now remember, we can do this the regular way of listing out the multiples and stopping when we get a common one, but we can also use prime factorization. So let's go ahead and prime factorize, step 1, prime factorize 4, 6, and 9. So 4, we can break it down to 2 times 2. Let me switch colors for the other ones. 6, we can break down into 2 times 3. And 9, we can break down into 3 times 3. And all of those are prime, so we're done. So now I list those in order from least to greatest for each one. Let me start with the 9. 3 times 3. Switch back to red. 2 times 3. And back to yellow. 2 times 2. Now I need to blend these. I need to blend all three of these to get our LCM. So 
in my blend statement, I should have 3 times 3, 2 times 3, and 2 times 2. I'm going to pick any one of these since they're all the same size. So I'll just start with 3 times 3. And now I'm going to ask myself. Um, so these are done. Do I have a times 2 in my blend statement? I don't. So I need to bring this over. So times 2. Do I have a times 3 in my blend statement? Yes, I do. So I don't need to bring that over. We're done with that one. Do I have a times 2 in my blend statement? Yes, I do. It's right here. Do I have a second times 2? No, I do not. So I need to bring that over. All right. So as you can see in my blend statement, I have 3 times 3 right here. I have 2 times 3 right there. And I have 2 times 2 also right here. So now we just solve to get our LCM. 3 times 3 is 9. 9 times 2. Actually, let's do this. This is 9. This is 4. 9 times 4 equals 36. And that's our LCM. So LCM equals 36. Okay. Let's take a look at another example. Here we have to find the least common multiple of 36, 50, and 72. Now, we can do it the other way, the first method, which is just listing out all the multiples of each one until we find a common one for all three. But that's probably going to take forever, and it's going to be very difficult for large numbers like these. So the best method to use is the prime factorization method. So let's go ahead and break these down. We can get 36 by multiplying 6 times 6. Break that down because they're not primes. We can get 2 times 3 here and 2 times 3 there. All of these are prime. So we're done with 36. Let's break down 50. Let me switch colors. I can get 50 by multiplying 10 times 5. 10 can break down into 2 times 5, and those are prime. Now let's switch over to 72. 8 times 9 gives us 72. Uh, break that down to 4 times 2. 2 is prime. Keep breaking down that 4 into 2 times 2. Those are prime. And the 9 into 3 times 3. Both of those are prime. Okay, so now we list those in order from least to greatest. Let me start with the 72. So we have 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. Okay, let me jump to the 50. We have 2 times 5 times 5. 2 times 5 times 5. And now, last one, 36. 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. Okay, and now we blend all of those. So let's blend every single one of these statements into one blend statement. Okay, so I'm going to start with the biggest one since I have to have that whole thing in, in my blend statement anyway. So I'm going to write 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. Okay, we're done with this one. Do I have a times 2 in my blend statement? Yes, so I don't need to bring that over. Do I have a times 5? No, so bring that over. Do I have a second times 5 in my blend statement? No, so I have to bring this over as well. Let's look at another one. Do we have a times 2? Yes. Do I have a second times 2? Yes. Do I have a times 3? Yes. Do I have a second times 3? Yes. So I don't need to bring anything over from here. Now we just solve to get our answer. <clears throat> okay. Let's do that in white. So 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 3 is 24. So all of these right here equal 24. 3 times 5 is 15. Well, actually, 5 times 5 is 25, and 25 times 3 is 75. So these three right here equal 75. So to get my answer, I can just multiply 24 times 75. So 24 times 75, 5 times 4 is 20, carry the 2, 5 times 2 is 10, plus 2 is 12, 0 in the 1's place here for the second digit, 7 times 4, okay, 28, carry the 2, 7 times 2 is 14, plus 2 is 16, and we add all of these up, let's see, we get 0, 10, here we carry over the 1, this gives me 2, 8, and we have the 1 over, so, we get 1,800. Wow. These, the list to find the multiples for 36, 50, and 72 would have been huge until we came up with a common one. So good thing we know this method.
Okay, so uh, 1,800 equals our LCM. Okay, let's take a look at some real-world problems where we'd have to use least common multiple. Here it says, Nancy, Nancy gets a math assignment every 10 days. She gets a science assignment every 12 days. When will Nancy get both math and science assignments on the same day? So we're finding that least common multiple of 10 and 12. Okay? So let's go ahead and uh, prime factorize these. I can do that by getting 2 times 5 here. These are prime. For 12, we can do 2 times 6. 2 is prime. Break down the 6 to 2 times 3. And we're done. So now I list those in order from least to greatest. So I get 2 times 5 for this one. And this one's 2 times 2 times 3. And now I blend these. Okay. So my blend statement should include both of those prime factorizations. So I, I'm going to pick the biggest one because since I have to have it anyways. So 2 times 2 times 3. 2 times 2 times 3. This is done. Do I have a times 2 in my blend? Yes. So I don't need to bring that over. Do I have a times 5? No. So I do need to bring that over. And now we just solve. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 3 is 12. 12 times 5 is 60. So they should meet or Nancy should get a math assignment and a science assignment on the 60th day. Let's check our work. Okay, so let me switch colors here. So here we go. Okay, so every 10 days she gets math. Math every 10 days. So let's see. 10th day, 20th, 30th, 40th, 50th, 60th, 70, 80, and so on. So on all these days, she gets math. She gets science every 12 days. So let's see when, when those will match up. So on the 12th day, on the 24th day, 36, 48, and sure enough, on the 60th day. That's when she gets both math and science. So 60 is our LCM. So our answer is this one in 60 days. Okay, let's take a look at one more example here. It says, Alan goes to play tennis every four days. He goes to watch a movie every eight days. So if he goes to play tennis every four days, that means on the fourth day he plays tennis. On the eighth day he plays tennis. Twelfth day, 16th, 20th, 24th, 28th, and so on. And then it says here, let me pick a different color, purple, that he watches a movie every eight days. So he watches a movie on this day, that day, and that day. It says, indicate whether the following statements are true or false. Okay, Alan played tennis and watched the movie on the fourth. Is that true? No, because we only have orange. That means he only played tennis. On the fourth day, he did not watch a movie. So this is false. Alan played tennis and watched the movie on the eighth day. Do we have both colors on the eighth day? Yes. So this is correct. On the 16th day, Alan played tennis but did not watch a movie. Let's go to the 16th. He actually did both, so that's not true. And it says here, the last statement, on the 16th day, Alan watched the movie but did not play tennis. So 16th day, again, he watched both or he did both. So that is not correct either. Okay. So... That was finding the least common multiple using prime factorization. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to check out more at mr.nessonunions.com. Hit that like button and subscribe to our channel to make sure that you're caught up with all the, the other videos that we might put out. Thanks again and see you next time.